My name is Alisa McCall and I'm a scientist at Polar Bears International. Today, I want to talk to you about why mother polar bears and their cubs are so special and what we can all do to help protect them. Spring is a very special time of year for polar bear moms and their new cubs. The family has just emerged after having spent most of the winter snuggled together in a den. This is the first time the cubs will feel the sun on their faces, the cold wind in their fur, and the snow crunching beneath their paws. The cubs are about the size of a big puppy, 15 to 25 pounds. And while their mother has decided that they're big enough to come out of the den, they are still totally dependent on her. Incredibly, the mother polar bear has not had a real meal for months while nursing and caring for her cubs. She is surviving only off her own fat reserves. In the Hudson Bay region, mother polar bears can go up to eight months without food during this period. Can you imagine going eight months without a meal? I can't. After a few days or a few weeks, the mother polar bear decides her cubs have their feet under them, and they begin their journey from the den site to the vast frozen ocean. Bears near the Hudson Bay sometimes walk over 100 kilometers for a week or more to get back to the sea ice. It's so important for the polar bear family to head to the seal hunting grounds and fatten up as soon as possible. A mother with young cubs needs lots of energy, especially after living off her own fat reserves for so long. The good news is that spring is also when seals give birth to their pups in snow caves on the sea ice, so there's usually lots of food to be found. At this point, the cubs begin a new journey of learning how to be a polar bear in their Arctic home. However, as the polar bear's home melts, changes, and becomes less predictable, it will be harder and harder for polar bear mothers to successfully teach and raise their cubs. That's why stable and predictable sea ice is so important for polar bear families. Because polar bears rely on sea ice to hunt, breed, and sometimes to den, sea ice loss from climate change is their biggest threat. Why is sea ice disappearing? Because we get most of our energy from fossil fuels, we are producing huge amounts of carbon dioxide. Regular amounts of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere act like a blanket around the Earth, trapping heat and keeping our planet at a stable temperature. However, when we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas for energy, we pump rampant amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This buildup thickens the blanket, trapping too much heat, disrupting the climate, and melting Arctic sea ice. The key to getting the climate back to functioning the way it should and to preserving a future for polar bears across the Arctic is to move away from using fossil fuels for energy altogether. The most important thing adults can do is to vote with the climate in mind to let our leaders know we support a swift transition to renewable energy sources. The most important thing kids can do is talk about it. Let the adults in your life know you care. Share what you learn with your family and friends. Stay curious and ask questions. We can all make a difference outside our own households by influencing where our energy comes from. We hope this film leaves you feeling inspired and renews your commitment to leverage your voice and your influence. There is still hope, and if we work together, we can ensure polar bears roam the sea ice for generations to come.